Hello dear students, welcome again. In this uh, video, I am going to discuss uh, the Banking and Finance Semester 2 Chapter 1 syllabus and these are the topics which I will be covering. In your first chapter, we have Lending Principles and Balance Sheet of a Bank. So dear students, uh, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, this is the channel link. Do subscribe and don't forget to like it. So let us move on to the first question which one of the following is the basic principle of lending liquidity profitability safety diversification of risk all of the above. So here if you see all these points are, are related to uh, the basic principle of lending. So a right answer is all of the above. Credit risk is default of the banker to maintain CRR, default of the banker to issue credit card, default of the banker to release credit to the borrower on time and lastly default of the customer to repay the loan. So credit risk actually related to default of the customer to repay the loan. So D is the correct answer here. Moving to the next, collateral securities can be tangible, intangible in the shape of personal guarantee of a third party, security given to get credit facilities or loan, all of the above. So collateral securities can be in any of these three forms. So all of the above is the correct answer. Moving to the next. Quickly realizable assets of bank consist of cash, call money lent, bills purchased, all of the above. So quickly realizable assets include cash, call money, bill purchase, all the three. So here again, D is the correct answer. The amount of liquidity banks need to keep depends on the changes that take place in demand for dash with the banks, demand for loans, deposits, both loans and deposits, money supply. So correct answer is the amount of liquidity which banks needs to maintain depends on both A and B that is loans and deposits. So C is the correct answer. The short term crop loan given to the farmers are generally for a period of 3 months, 6 months, 9 months, 12 months. It is generally for 12 months. So D is the correct answer. Li liability side of the bank balance sheet comprises capital and reserves, unclaimed dividend, deposits, profit and loss all of the above the liability side of bank balance sheet okay banks balance sheet includes all these four items there are many more but these four a b c d are all the liability side of bank balance sheet so all of the above is the correct answer so dear student you see uh, many in many questions i have framed the question in such a way that you will get all the important points so that if in the question it is asked you can make out and give the correct answer moving to the next question asset side of the bank uh, balance sheet comprises cash in bank with the central bank balances with other bank third money at call and short notice investments all of the above again asset side of bank balance sheet comprises all these four so e is the correct answer that is all of the above moving to the next question which one is not the part of asset of a bank interest receivable premises less depreciation suspense investment in treasury bill so this suspense account this is not part of asset but liability so c is the correct answer here on-site inspections of banks is based on dash methodology crystal camels ccil lfar so correct answer is camels which means the capital adequacy asset quality management 
and then earnings liquidity and banks sensitivity so that is the methodology which is uh, adopted so b is the correct answer here which is are the factors that determine the liquidity of cash balances by a bank banking habit reserve requirements business and economic conditions clearing house facilities and nature of accounts all of the above again dear students here the uh, all these four are the uh, factors that determine liquidity of cash balances in a bank so e is the correct answer what is are the ways banks can diversify the risk sector wise loans and advances loans and advances of different maturity variety of securities all of the above the banks need to diversify the risk banks cannot invest or cannot give loan to one sector or cannot give loan of a short term or of only long long term or the security which is taken maybe gold or any other collateral that should be so there should be variety of things all these things three things are needed to diversify the risk so all of the above is the correct answer purpose security income generating potentiality of the project term of loan or dash of lending it is principle of lending method of lending method of diversification of risk method of maintaining liquidity a most appropriate answer would be principle of lending the purpose security income generating potentiality of the project and term loan are principle of lending so a is the correct answer what is the full form of sibyl sibyl is a famous a term used in credit uh, rating or credit history of people or, or organization so the c uh, credit information bureau india limited is the correct full form of sibyl this term okay c is the correct answer sibyl was incorporated uh, da in dash and launched in its operation in april dash so it was incorporated in 2000 and started launched operation in april 2004 so b is the correct answer sibyl score is a dash digit numeric summary of a credit history two digit three digit four digit five digit it is a three digit numeric history of credit history of uh, individual okay so b is the correct answer sibyl score ranges from we have already seen it is a three digit uh, score so from dash and is calculated based on the information in the accounts and inquiry section of credit report so it ranges from 300 to 900 the civil score ranges from 300 to 900 c is the correct answer civil report is also known as cir so what is the full form of the cir it is credit information report credit information report a is the correct answer section dash of the banking regulation act 1949 requires banks to prepare balance sheets on an annual basis in a format specified in dash schedule of the act so here uh, this provision is given in the section 29 of banking regulation act and the format is given in the third schedule of the act so d is the correct answer here okay moving to the next in india there are dash main credit bureaus that are registered authorized by security and exchange board of india so how many main uh, credit bureaus are there three four five six there are six credit bureaus uh, that are registered authorized by sebi okay so d is the correct answer so dear student these are the six uh, credit bureaus which are there in india chrysal sibyl experian acro equifax crif high mark and these are the dates when it was incorporated and established okay so thank you so much dear students all the best do well